So this question looks like a simplification question or simplify question. I say that because it's short and has an equation. Those are the two criteria <clears throat> for simplify questions, equation or expression, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rewrite the portion of the equation that can be simplified. I have this ax plus three parentheses five x squared minus bx plus four, right? And I'm gonna leave this alone for right now because it can't be simplified. So I'm gonna simplify just the left-hand side. So I can do that by distributing um, the first term in my first set of parentheses across everything in the second set of parentheses. So let's do that. A, uh, AX times 5X squared is 5AX cubed. AX times negative BX is negative ABX. And AX times positive 4 is plus 4AX. Now distribute the 3 across to each term here. And I get positive 15X squared. 3 times negative BX is minus 3BX and three times four is positive 12. So I'm just gonna combine like terms here. Uh, and let's see, let's see, did I write something wrong here? AX, oh, this should be negative ABX squared there. Okay, so I have a, I have my X cubed term. I have two X squared terms, which I'll just write next to each other. So minus ABX squared plus 15x squared. I have two x terms, which I'll also write next to each other. So plus 4ax minus 3bx. And then I have my plus 12. All right. So now I'm going to read the question. The equation above is true for all x where a and b are constants. What is the value of a times b? Okay. So I'm going to rewrite what I have. So 5ax cubed minus a, B, X squared plus 15 X squared uh, plus 4 A, X minus 3 B, X plus 12 equals the right hand side 20 X cubed minus 9 X squared minus 2 X plus 12. All right, so here's where the fun happens. So here's where um, most students get stuck. And the truth is, this question really really depends on your understanding of the equal sign. Once everything is simplified, the fact that there's an equal sign here in the middle tells me that the left-hand side must be equivalent to the right-hand side of this equation. Now, how do I use that to my benefit? Well, I have this 20x cubed term here. There's no other x cubed terms on the right-hand side. I have this 5ax cubed term here. There are no other x cubed terms on the left-hand side. So that means that this 5ax cubed, right, in order for the left-hand side of the equation to be equivalent to the right-hand side of the equation, 5ax cubed must equal 20x cubed. And if that's the case, a must be 4, right? So I got my a value. All right, the next thing is I have this negative 9x squared term on the right-hand side, and I have this negative abx squared plus 15x squared term on the left-hand side. So what does that tell me? Well, negative abx squared plus 15x squared has to somehow equal negative 9x squared which in essence, right, I could get rid of the x squareds even, and say negative ab plus 15 has to equal negative 9, right? Because it's really all about the coefficients in this case. I didn't really need even to write the x cubed there. So how does that work? Well, I can subtract 15 from both sides. And I have negative ab equals negative 24. I know that a is 4. So this becomes negative 4b equals negative 24. I can divide by negative 4, and I'm left with b equals positive 6. Okay, so I have a positive 6 for b, a positive 4 for a. The question just wants me to figure out what ab is, right? So ab must be 4 times 6, and that is equal to 24. 
and therefore the correct answer here is choice C.